Greetings, everyone, and welcome once more to the Jacobin Empire. Are you ready to dive back into Clarion today? I hope you are. We're heading into the world of Pathfinder role-playing game, heading back into Galarian, learning about a new person. So join my hand, your host here, Cantus Naravan Jacobin, as I lead you. Grab your great swords, grab your spell books, maybe a couple of daggers, whatever kind of means you get a holy symbol if it's really going to help you out. Whatever you need, get ready for some adventure. We're heading deep into Galarian once more. And today, we're going to be learning about Old Mage Jatembe, a very powerful wizard and folk hero from the Mwangi Expanse who had major influence in that entire region. Awesome character. We're going to talk about him. We're going to learn about him. What's some sources that I could do some extra resource research for if I really wanted to? Well, that's a really good question, and I have an answer to that. Of course, the Inner Sea World Guide is always a great place to give some basic information that you could kind of uh, dive into. But as I'm showing off here, the Pathfinder Chronicles of Hard the Jungle is another one. Mythic Realms, Arcane uh, Anthology. And of course, if you're looking into second edition, the Legends book does a good job of introducing that character in second edition and updating some of the information and kind of putting it all together. So these are the sources I would highly recommend if you want to learn about the old mage himself, Jatemba. All right, now that we have an idea of where you can expand your knowledge from and some basics of kind of who this man is, why don't we talk about that? Who this man is? He's a human of Milwaukee Expanse, uh, male. He was a good character. He was from the Expanse, and he did a lot of good. He was also... If you want to go mechanically, 20th level wizard, 6th level archmage. 6 being his mythic rank. So he was a mythic archmage. This is information we know about. Who he actually was is a teacher. A, mag a person of magic. Basically, after the Age of Anguish, he was the one that brought the people of Grun back to civilization. He saw his people suffering after the Age of Anguish and everything that had happened during those various rough time periods. And he wanted to bring things back. This is post Age of Darkness. This is now we're in the Age of Anguish. Yeah. We're, we're leading to the Age of Destiny and in that time period he's bringing back civilization. Though he isn't around per se anymore, we'll talk about it, nonetheless, his legacy, his knowledge, continues to descend. There are magic traditions in many cultures, not just in Grun, but in Vastian, that are influenced by him. His deep dive into the world of magic in doing so, still keeping a great heart. Something that is different than many other dark mages that sometimes have looked deep into magic and gone very dark. <clears throat> Talk to the Western Tyrant. Jatemna. Uh, Bobby on to Remains a good man. What's his history? He's a myth more than anything. There really isn't a lot of true facts about him. We know some things that are accurate, but unfortunately, because he comes from a very ancient time, we don't know a lot. We know that from history, the Age of Anguish, Grund was a violent, barbarous place with uh, savagery all around. And Jatembe was actually the, is said to be the first human to rekindle the art of registry, wizardry or written magic after the fall of Aslan at very least in this region. Again, exact history. He might actually be the first post-Aslan to bring back wizardry, written magic. Completely. There may be no person before him. But for all we know, he is the oldest. And in doing so, bringing civilization back to him. With written magic becomes written word more important. It, it leads to knowledge. It is said that he regained lost knowledge from many sources, dealings with angels, demons, inhabitants of the great beyond. Some say he stole his novel from um, the severed head of the god of serpent folk, uh, after which he sh uh, sewed its mouth shut. 
There are many legends related to him. But we then turn to negative 3505AR. So we're going forward in time a little bit from his first appearance. This would be still the tail end of the Age of, Age of Anguish. We're almost in the Age of Destiny. We're the tail end of Age of Anguish. Jitembe defeats the King of Biting Ants, who is claimed to have possessed a weapon that can eat the sun. The King of Biting Ants was driven to Akaton through his stronghold and the, uh, the doorway to the Red Star. This is like a big legendary fight that it is. The King of Biting Ants was supposed to be a sorcerer whose body consists of a swarm of ants. Um, yeah. Interesting creature. In one year later, negative 3504, Jitembe gathered a group of followers that became known as the Ten Warriors. Warriors will be important. It's part of his legacy. We kind of mention it now. We'll talk a little bit about more when we talk about some of his legacies. To show dedication to the warriors, obscured their identities behind golden animal masks. Together, they explored the ruins of ancient pre-Earth uh, Earthfall cities in Garand, uncovering forgotten magical secrets. Let me go a couple more years. Negative 3502. <clears throat> he reclaimed the lost art of magic during the last years of Ages of Anguish. To the time they founded a center of magical learning known as uh, Magam Bya in the town of Nantambu in the Mwangi Expanse. Tambu and his magical learning center, Magabya, hope I'm not butchering those, I hope I'm getting pretty correct, still exists today. Just note that. It continues the legacy of preserving and passing on magical and cultural knowledges, and especially to those that will use them for the betterment of others. It still does respect the power of the folks. But that magical school he founded, like, 8,000 years ago, still exists in 8,000-year-old magical college. That's history. That's something to respect. Even with all these tales, he was always depicted as an old man. There was some speculation he was one of the immortal masters of the Lost City of Erd. Others dismissed this claim since he and the Ten Warriors were known to have destroyed uh, those debased and cruel masters as punishment of their wickedness. Repeating the former theory in uh, Magambia is not recommended, and any association to Tembe with Erd has been basically seen as disrespectful. There is some speculation, though, that he learned from uh, the tra traditions or was a druid himself before turning to wizardry, that maybe that helped him with more immortality. Um, it is kind of supporting the fact that in Ma, uh, the Gambia, they do treat, treat, uh, train, uh, teach druid spells to this day. Others claim that he gained his mythic powers from ancient artifacts, and then he left this world after the power with him faded. However, happened, he vanished from history. There's no, no known tomb for him or his ten warriors. Some claim that he carried off a great spell, others that he left Galarian in order to repay the debt to the beings that had helped him gather his mystic powers. Others claim that he's actually was actually a mortal incarnation of the god Nethys. There's no definitive truth. But before departing, he ordered the ten magic warriors to remain behind and become advisors and protectors of the people. Their images are still represented in mosaics in the ten towers of Magambaya. So, yeah. And the Ten Warriors, the ancestral heroes of the Zenji tribe, did their best. Perhaps I will chat about them in their own video in the future, as a little bit of a thing, in their legs. But keep in mind, they have a legacy set apart by Jitembe. Jitembe started legacy, he founded these great warriors, his companions, and when he knew he was leaving, he set them to protect in his place. And they did, becoming the cornerstone for why there is such great civilization in the Expanse. A very wild place where there are bastions of civilization, very advanced and powerful ones in small city-states dotted throughout. Why? 
because he allowed it. He helped that. So what are its legacies? Well, other than this really cool image here, which is theoretically maybe possible, maybe true, who knows? But old man uh, Jutembe taking tea with Baba Yaga, the dancing dolphin in Taliban. I like this image. Um, whether or not this is true, but you might see two old people arguing and discussing things in a corner in the dancing dolphin. If you really miss them. Just a bit of legacy there in and of itself. But what are Jutembe's actual legacies? Well, he's got two types of legacies. His magic-based legacy and his cultural legacy. Because both things are important to talk about when we talk about Jutembe. Magically, he was the creator of the major artifact called the Ring of Nine Facets, which he passed to the Ten Warriors so they may protect people after he left. Uh, the Watcher's Stone of Jutembe, a scrying device believed to have been used by him, itself still lies in uh, Nantambu. There's also legend tells of Utenzaji Hikiba, a set of 111 magical scrolls penned by him that are filled with spells, insights, research, and transcripts of his conversations with various outsiders. There are a few of them that can be found in uh, Mangambaya, but most of them lost to time. One of them, called uh, Usafi, was recently discovered from a demon infested ruins in the Mongi jungle. Being a perfect lighter, writer, Jutembe also believed to have penned at least compiled, or at least compiled the spell book of the Book of the Serpent's Past, most likely results of his research with the skull of Yordursus. The only magic item he took with him was the beacon of true faith given to him by one of his patrons. So he's left behind spell books and information for students at his school. These were collated, collected, annotated over the millennia, eventually becoming known as the Wisdom of Jatemba. They exist in countless volumes, and each contains not only the spells he created and cast, but also the ancient mages' teachings and wisdoms, many of which deal with the similarities between arcane and divine magic. The spell Celestial Healing, uh, Cyclic Reincarnation, Jatembe's Ire, Mask of Divination, and Planar Inquiry, all, all are associated with Jatembe and Magi, uh, Magambaya in particular. They reflect the philosophy of old man Jatembe, and most grand spellcasters recognize the provenance of might that might become uh, offended if they use them in a matter that goes against his teachings. He learned this by being a diplomat, a teacher, and a honest-to-goodness great person. And if you do not follow his teachings and use them inappropriately, it is an offense. Keep that in mind. Should you go to the great school of uh, Manamaya? Culturally, the Zenji people of the Mwangi Expanse are those that see Jutembe with its most significance. A founding cultural figure, he's a novelist to Eridan for them amongst the inhabitants of Absalom, or the first pharaoh, uh, Azaghad, for the Assyrians. Jutembe's learning continued with his followers at the Magambaya, spread throughout Grund, inspiring aeromancers and the flying cities of the Shori Empire a thousand years later, as well as artificers in the Jiskum Imperium. So, those ancient civilizations that came afterwards, these civilizations that in modern-day Galarian are still ancient, ancient Assyrian, ancient uh, the Jiskums, the Shori, they were inspired by Jatembe. Jatembe and his teachings and his ways led Grund out of darkness, out of anguish, inspired great empires. Those empires had their influence on the rest of the inner sea region. That still remains today. The influence of the old mage and his ten magic warriors is seen in so many spellcasting and martial traditions to this day. Magabayan Arcanists the mystical Nameless One traditions, the Enlightened Blood Rage, uh, the Magambayan Initiate tradition among Arcanists, the Mage Warrior archetype among uh, Magi, and the Agathal tradition among Vigilantes, the Dancing Spear style, thought to have been the favorite fighting style of one of the Ten Magic Warriors. All of these are influenced and passed down. There is a holiday related to him, too. 
celebrating him and the Ten Magic Warriors. On the 13th of Desnus is Old Mage Day. Celebrates Djembe and his warriors and the great things they did for the Milwaukee Expanse. So, if you're from the Expanse or from the region around the Expanse, you certainly will celebrate and know that day. When a man discovered wizardry, rose up to prominence, found ancient magics, and what did he do with them? He shared them with everybody. And made the Expanse and the world a better place. That's old man Jatembe. I think that's an interesting reason why we see that image of him arguing with Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga is not really a great person, but normally speaking, she doesn't really go out of her way to be an awful person. She just kind of does things that she wants, and just tends to be very awful. It leaves people to their own devices in mind. I mean, she basically conquered a region and then washed her hands in it. Yeah, her conquest kind of cursed the place with eternal winter, and she left her daughters in charge, who are really awful people. They don't learn very good things from their mother. But it's kind of this weird thing of you understand the two age old plainer beings arguing about some things, discussing things, and catching up. It's an interesting little juxtaposition on the two natures of magic and the directions it can choose. Magic is a power. It can certainly corrupt. Or it could lead you to a greater place. And Jatembe is an example of a man who found something and embraced the greatness of it. Gurun and even Avasti will forever feel his pain. What happened to him? Will he ever know? I mean, probably not. Is he still around? Who knows? There's always whispers, but it might not be. It's that kind of silly thing of old whispers and ideas that might be left over. But even if we don't see him, even if he doesn't exist anymore, the fact that he has this legacy so deep, so powerful, that it remains to this day is so interesting and inspiring. Those great hero characters, maybe one that you're trying to play, this is where they can end up. He's a great example of heroes, a good person, and what someone with great power can do to shape the world. Galarian is better for having him. And the anguish of the Age of Anguish, perhaps end degree because of him. He helped break an end. The great civilizations which would rise after him to what would become in the future. And to a magic school that's goddamn like 8,000 years old that's still around. I mean, that's just impressive. Founding a school of magic? Yeah. You know? <laughs> a ancient magic school. Very, very ancient. So, yeah. It's enjoyable to see that that's a lasting effect. Anyway, I'll leave things with that. Oh, oh. Today. Hit the wrong button. <laughs> Ooh. I thank you for joining me. I enjoyed talking about old man uh, Chitembe. Um, I've kind of ran into him a few times when doing some videos in the Mongi Expanse. And he's such an interesting character because he is such an influence and a major figure in that region. I talk about, like, Aridin, and Aridin, is, I did a video on him, and I've done some videos on other characters. But when I do videos on these characters, I think most of them that I'll do will tend to be these very important historical figures that have a lasting effect. They're important to know about. It's like, if you're from that region, you probably know about Jatembe. If you're from even northern Gura, probably someone talks about him. You'd recognize him and what he did. Even on Syrian. Or places where the old, old empires were. He has this lasting place. It's really cool to hear about. Anyway, 
Uh, if you want to check out more of my stuff, I have a schedule that's up on Discord, Twitter, YouTube. I put my schedule up. It's all my uploads for YouTube. It's all my streams. If you want to check me out live, I'm all on Twitch. I go put everything up on YouTube a couple days later, usually. The schedule's up there so you can know when things are live, when things are there. I'm pretty good at the schedule. I'm getting better at the schedule. So keep that in mind. I'm going to try my best to. And if something happens, you know, it's live stuff. I have social media, Discord, uh, Twitter slash X, link below. Um, again, play is a great place to see if their schedule changes. Great place to, you know, chat with me if you want to talk about some of these things. All that kind of stuff. Remember to do all the various things like uh, following, liking, subscribing, ring the bell, all that kind of stuff. My question today is, have you had any characters that have dealt with the, well, legacy of Jutemi? I'm interesting to know. It could be something a little bit more out there or separated out. It could be something more directly. I mean, you have to remember, there are things like the Enlightened Blood Ranger, which are directly connected to him. <clears throat> His teaching brought that about as a uh, archetype. So it's very interesting. Now. Anyway, I'll leave all of you today. Um, I'm going to go hang out with Twitch a little bit, maybe do another video, and... Uh, until the next time, we hang out, we learn about anything, we dive into stuff. I'm going to tell you, everybody, have a great rest of your day. And until those next times, I bid you a deep and wonderful farewell.